It is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? Time for our tale of the tape. Here he comes, Deontay Wilder, six foot seven inches tall with that massive 83 inch reach. And across the ring from him, Alexander Usyk. He's 6'3", with a 78-inch reach. Todd, this is well anticipated. I'm so looking forward to this test. Deontay Wilder, he is the Bronze Bomber. One of the hardest punchers in heavyweight history. His knockout percentage is off the chart. Alexander Usyk. The former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world fighting out of Ukraine. You can hardly hear yourself speak. The fans are going mad for this. So now let's go into the ring for the official introductions. Here's the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner. An Olympic bronze medalist from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, a hard-hitting sensational knockout artist, and a WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Hiding out of the blue corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, an undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Use. Thousands of fans here in attendance tonight, but when the bell rings, there will only be two that we're talking about. This is that match that everybody has fallen out about, argued about. This is what you are going to talk about. Not next year, not the year after, in 5, 10, 15 years' time. This is a history maker. These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. It's all offense all the time. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Neither one of them wants us to go to the judges' scorecards. And a counter left. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fight because the expectation from the thousands of people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. There's a counter shot. He parries away that left hook. That left counter punch will score. Turned around. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, then it's going to be. Here's the bell for round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Oh, this is a slugger right here in Portland. These kind of fighters, they want to get hit in the face because it jeez them on. They want to stand there and fight in the trenches. The exchange 
punches. That counter scores. Another scoring shot there. He just misses with that big right hand. Counterpuncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. The action is second to none. It's the blink of an eye. And they're waiting for any little trick you do. So you've got to fight a counterpuncher smart. That one lands. Four cards read. There are no losers in this one. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. You're absolutely exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. The positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. We've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. He threw the hook, didn't land. Good fight so far. Both of these fighters have had their moments. This is a high-octane battle. And he fails to score with that left hook. Back to life now, starting to land some punches. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Got the momentum, they got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Dominance, without a doubt, make it look so, so easy. Here's the bell for round four. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? So one who draws first blood card, that's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Through the hook, it did land. And out of the way, that right hook. Get the halfway 
point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations, and they throw them nonstop. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Boxing judging could be sometimes. There's no doubt who won that way. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep the same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, and fight. You have to give it... And the bronze bomber goes down! the corner may have to intervene here because this he misses with that jab Final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be... Here's the bell for round six. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know they want to shake your leg. Well, you can't do that, can you? If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating, it just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Pretty close fight here in this round. He just misses with that jab.
in the division hit like them. And Deontay Wilder just got clipped. And the bronze bomber goes down. gentlemen, a knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot.